The fourth annual I Am 8-Bit Art Show opened in Hollywood at the World of Wonder storefront gallery. Attendees lined outside early for a chance to peek inside and see their favorite creations. I Am 8-Bit launched in 2005. It quickly became popular with over 100 artists contributing and LA Weekly declaring it the best art show in town. I Am 8-Bit has been a tremendous success. Everybody from the artists to the fans enjoy these works of art. It's a perfect way to relive those classic video game moments. Oh dude, I just love video games and art and now they're together so, you know, nothing better than that. It's like, this is actually my first time being at I Am 8-Bit and it's overwhelming. I can't believe there's some amazing work and like, and, but they've made the whole space so exciting. Uh, I call this composition Jump This because, uh, you know, if you notice Donkey Kong doesn't just have his regular old barrel, he has a d a dynamite TNT kick. I hate that guy, I can never jump over him. So how did IM8-Bit get started? It was uh, a lot to do with people dogging games for not being art. Not that this like, show itself is a, a mission statement against that, but it's, it's to prove that characters are to be celebrated. These icons from the 80s are things that don't exist anymore. I mean, it's, it's like bedtime stories or, or you know, movies or cinema or, or music. It's like video games is definitely a legitimate art form and people like to express feelings about that. You can come in and hang out in the gallery any day you want and enjoy everything. Like that's the whole point is that it's free. It's like it's meant to, to celebrate. It's not meant to exploit. Yeah. We don't want to make a million dollars off of it. We just want to share the love. I think it's great. I mean like all these people are from the 80s basically and you got to pay tribute to the 80s in the 8-bit world. So it's definitely a great theme and uh, I hope it goes on forever. Mm -hmm.